Welcome to Geek Aid, the show where three of the world's top, most smartest experts educate you on the happenings of the world and answer your nerd and gaming and geek questions, and it's amazing. My name is Saucy Mailman, and I am an interdimensional pumpkin spice research analyst. <laughs> My name is Geeksay, and this week, Rod Johnston put, My name is Geeksay, and I'm a Degrassi cast member. <laughs> He's he, he's very very friendly with uh, Drake. They're like best friends. Uh, you, you mean like, D Dog? I know D Dog. Yeah, D Dog. <laughs> he just calls him D. Yeah, D Dog. Actually, you know, he likes the dog part. <laughs> yeah, the, the dog really just. <laughs> it. Is it is it D A W G Dog, or is it D O G? Listen, what D Dog and I talk about is none of your business, dude. Like, just let it go. You will never know D Dog like I know D Dog. I mean, obviously. You I think he spells it D-O-G-E. And I'm pretty sure it's Dake, Dog. not Drake. It's Dake. Dake? Yeah, it's not Dake Drake. Dog. It's Dake. Hey, I'm Dake. Oh, yeah, Dake. Like, like it rhymes with steak? Yeah, Dake. No. No. <laughs> Rod, what do you do for a living? My name is Rod, and I'm a Jurassic Park tour guide. It's a, it's a, it's a real healthy job. No one ever gets hurt doing <laughs> no. it or, or eaten or... No. God, why would know? anyone get eaten? That's weird. I don't, I mean, it, sometimes people ask, you're like, they're like, you work with dinosaurs, is it like safe? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, yeah. No, my buddy, the lawyer, has never got me while sh shitting on the toilet or anything like that. That's true. That's, I mean, well, that you know of at least. Mm -hmm. my, um, good buddy, yeah. my, buddy, my good buddy Samuel L. Jackson still has both arms. I mean, everything's going good. He was just on, uh, on uh, that uh, oh, wing eating show. What's that wing oh, eating really? show? Hot ones? Yeah, the the what final the fuck for are you the season. About? The, the wing eating. I, 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 okay, shut your mouth because saucy mailman knew what I was talking about <laughs> yeah. in two seconds. It's just because you're not cool. Um, it's called the hot ones. You've never seen hot ones, Rod? I've seen hot ones, but they're usually eighteen and older and oh on specific God. things on there. <laughs> this guy. Also, Rod, are you drinking out of either a fossilized turd or a goblin horn? I can't. Oh. I, I've said this. It is a. I wanted everyone else to see it. The top yeah. of it looks like a fossilized turd. So what it is, guys, is an alien tiki mug. So, yep. so it's two things that are shitty: tiki and alien. I guess, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm back to uh, <laughs> saucy. Saucy and I have been discussing something all week, uh, Gise, and we figured this would be the right place to discuss it with you. Uh, we're moving in a different direction with the podcast, and uh, Nate's going to be coming back out permanently. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> and and I'm going to have to step down <laughs> as Jurassic Park tour guide. <laughs> Man. I was actually I was listening so so last week guys I wasn't here if you didn't know we went uh it was Tim Bit's birthday which is my girlfriend we went to the aquarium in Vancouver and I got to meet in person a real life penguin it was really I saw you got to pet the penguin yeah I got to pet it it was really crazy because when you're in the room with it with the penguin you have to like keep your hands like to your sides but all you want to do is grab the penguin and say you're so cute you know what I mean you just yeah, want to grab it shake your yeah, face yeah but uh, we weren't I allowed have... to choke it apparently so <laughs> so you know you're not allowed to choke <laughs> is that like the Canadian version of Chicken choking. Yeah. <laughs> Ch choke the penguin. You, you, you never want to choke the penguin in public. <laughs> Got choke the penguin a couple of times. That's what I'm telling you. I, so, you know I, I, I'm really real quick. I'm really disappointed with this story because I, I, you put these pictures in your Discord or Timbit did, and the penguin yeah. didn't shit on you, and it that makes me sad. So it's funny because <laughs> the penguin ran like it was kind of timid at first, so it ran under us where there's a bench, mm -hmm. and it pooped down there. Like underneath us, and then it came yeah. out and did its thing. But it was it was good. I went to Vancouver. I had a lot of fun. Went to the aquarium. We had some good eats. Um, oh. You know, now I'm super super broke instead of just super broke. And worth it though. It, it was worth it. Uh, you know, you know, you you only live once. Like I don't know something like that. But I was you, listening to the podcast, and I was really upset, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, you know, Nate does have an amazing podcast. Okay. But you uh -huh. guys did not give him shit. You know, Into the Wild is a great podcast. I'll plug it for him. Into the Wild. Into the Wild. It's good. But we did not give him enough shit, you guys. You did not give him enough shit when he plugged it. You need you need oh, to yeah, you need to give him more shit. Yeah, you know, his podcast, Into the Wild. 
is good. I, I'll plug it for him, like I said, over and over again. I will, because I love him. So we just need to make this, like, let's put this in our, in our like, documentation, like our new user guide, a requirement for when anyone comes on, the moment they say anything about what they do, we just, <laughs> just roll them. Afterwards, after, you have to ask them what they do and then yeah. roll them. Really? So, uh, yeah. yeah. So, where, hey, Nate, where are you from? Oh, yeah, I'm from Into the Wild. Oh, fuck you, man. You're just going to come on here. You're just here to plug your shit. Seriously, we invite you on our podcast and you're just going to plug your shit. All right. I got it. That was my yeah. practice. Yeah. Do but, I have the uh, job? I- it, was, it was the first time I ever listened to this podcast ever because <laughs> I don't like hearing on myself. It. Yeah. So yeah. I wasn't on it. So I was like, oh, this is exciting. It was really good. Nate was awesome in it. Um, I am. I was threatened. I did write you guys both notes and telling how amazing you guys are. You know, I really kind of, I really got you guys ready and, and jacked yeah, up. Yeah. Right? I was like, oh, I'm yeah. so excited for next week's episode, you know, because Nate's not there. And, you know. <laughs> He's probably back into the <laughs> wild, so I'm back. It's okay. I got a text message right after it. He goes, that was fun. Can we kick Geek Say off and I can be on here perfectly? <laughs> and I'm like, sounds good to me, sir. It's weird because I got a text from him right after the Tuesday. That was fun. Can we kick Rod off of it? It was really weird. So, I mean, that sounds appropriate also. So Yeah. So we, yeah, so your vac- your little so, vacation trip was yeah, good. Yeah, so it was it was good. Um, I drove there Friday night, late at night. It was a good time. I stayed with uh, a friend of mine, Jeremy and Katrina, and they just got married, so they came back from Japan. They were telling me about the Japan trip. They have a French bulldog, yeah. also Rod. Ooh. Um, so it was fun. We got to chill with a uh, Frenchie for uh, a couple of t- days there. Um, it was good. Vancouver's good, but it's busy. I don't like big cities, right? Like it's just, yeah. it's it's. It's too busy. It's too busy for me. I'm I, a small town I was boy. Lis- I was listening to something recently. I don't even forget what it was, but it it might have been my was it might have been my brother, my brother and me, where they were talking about British Columbia and they're like it combines two like two very different things, British, which is good, and Columbia, which is very, very bad. <laughs> Just talking about the good old BC. Get, gonna get decapitated while like, you know, being a proper Englishman. <laughs> mm, I'm about that. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, what, what have you guys been up to this week? Rod, what did you do this week? Uh, I've played a lot of Spider-Man on PlayStation 4. Is what yeah, I've, I've noticed. It just got, it just got told it's the best-selling uh, PlayStation exclusive of all time. Shit. So good, dude. Yeah. It's like, I'm running around and just like <clears throat> high-fiving people on the streets because that's what you do. It looks um, amazing. It looks yeah, amazing. Yeah, like, it's all about that game. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. If you guys like the like the Batman games, it kind of, it like feels very similar to that in a lot of ways, but like but Spider Man. So it's but you just crazy. have a different outfit. Yeah, pretty much. You have bunch. I of saw a crazy outfits. thing. Uh, the one thing that blew my mind about that game is I didn't know the dude who did the the voice acting like um, recorded all of the video the voice lines twice. One for when you're actively doing something, and one for when he's standing still. Did you know that? No, that's crazy. So, like, if he's swinging in the air while he's doing a line, he's all, like, out of breath and exasperated. Yeah. And then they show the exact same thing if you're just standing there. He's just calm. Really? Yeah, so that's, yeah. You'll, you'll, be, you'll be swinging around, and, like, Aunt May will call you, and you're like, what What up, Aunt May? And you can, like, you tell he's, like, kind of exerting himself because he's swinging through the city and stuff. I've never been, like, sitting there on the ground not doing anything. Yeah. Called, though, so it's, it's an interesting thing. And, uh... I'll have to like just sit there for an extended period of time. You, you brought up a there. you brought up a good game there, uh, guys. Is the Dark Knight series the the Batman games, the Arkham Asylum, Ar- Arkham Asylum and stuff? How good yeah. were those games when they first came out? Like that was oh so it good. was it was it changed the landscape of of like beat 'em ups. It was fantastic. I don't like that, them. You don't like them? Are you are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't I really don't? Really? Oh my god! You're stupid. You're being stupid. <laughs> That that whole beat 'em up is just like brilliant. Yeah. The way to do it, it's brilliant. Uh, did they're, you guys? Okay, go on. They're, they're really fun. Is what I was gonna say. It's it's a. Uh, they're just cool. Like dives into the comic lore, and that's always it's, really fun. And that and anytime you have Mark Hamill being the Joker, I am completely on board because he is like the best voice of a joker ever he's so freaking good so. what i what i like about those types of games is i don't know about spider-man but i'm sure it's the same way is with a movie you can't really have all these niche characters in it 
but with the yeah. games you can have these niche characters that you don't really know about but they make them super cool so you're like yeah. oh i didn't know about that villain but he is friggin badass like yeah. captain granola oh man captain man. captain g yeah, yeah. sick I was actually yeah, going to bring this up in news, but I knew you guys wouldn't want to talk about it, so I'll talk about it here. <laughs> Have you guys seen Todd Phillips, the new director of the new Joker movie with Joaquin Phoenix? Did you guys look at the makeup test? Did I, you guys see I that? saw I saw him in his like looking like a pedophile in his yeah. like jacket you or whatever. You, That's you all didn't I... see the makeup test thing? No, Joker Let, okay. makeup. You have to listen to it with music. You have to listen to it with music. It's just like a 10 second clip. I'll, what the fuck? Okay, okay so I'm gonna. The picture I, guess, is creepy as fuck. Yeah, so it's a little oh, video. No. I think so. If you guys don't know, it's it's Joker, kind of in like a John Wayne Gacy makeup kind of thing. <clears throat> and I think they are, like, I think he's going into this pit of of insanity during this movie. And I think, I think this is just one part of him being a clown. Like, I think it's like a side job of his or something. I don't know if it, it's yeah. not going to be his final Joker look, of course. But I, I really like the feeling of this movie already. I really think they're going to, cool. go, they're going to go away from like how Marvel is like all about like funny, quirky, like really bright thing. I hope Captain this is Granola. like Captain, Gr <laughs> Captain G, um, I'm hoping this series is way, or at least this movie is like super dark. Like what I want it to be like is seven. You know what I mean? Like okay, I want yeah. this to be like seven, like just I'd super dark and like gritty and yeah. The problem is, and this is a real serious problem with all the DC properties. Like after the Dark Knight trilogy, Warner Brothers actually made a declaration that they weren't allowed to make jokes <clears throat> in any of their their. Uh, DC Universe movies. Good. And so then you had that shit show that was the Man of Steel and the. No, uh, I liked Man of Steel. You didn't like the the super. I thought the was, Superman was good, and then the rest of them like Superman versus Batman was garbage. It was but okay, but Batman versus Superman is one of the worst movies of all. Time. I'm still and, I'm still waiting out for Thor versus a random dude on the side of the road. <laughs> that movie's gonna be good. <laughs> Ho Saucy, hobo versus hobo. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I think they did that already. It's called Bomb Hobo fights. with a Shotgun, and it's fucking amazing. Rutger Howard running around blowing people's head off. It's pretty. I don't. I don't condone violence. Unless it's you card know, game violence, like uh, Slay the Spire. That two, doesn't eh? count. Yeah, Slay that the Spire two. Yeah, you excited about that? Oh my god. Yeah. This, or Slay the Spire. That Spires. was my week. Yeah. That was my week. Like, so I started playing Slay the Spire. For anyone who doesn't know, it is a roguelike RPG deck building game, and uh. Danny Donuts has been saying that I needed to play it, and he's a proponent of this game. And a few other people are like, you should try Slay the Spire. So I finally did. I said, you know what? F word it. <coughs> I, said it so, I said, F word it. Let's go ahead and try it. So fudge, I downloaded fudge, it. Fudge it. It was amazing. It was so good. I'm like, I'm so jacked. My very first, so it's a hard game. It's a very difficult game if you guys haven't played it. And uh, my very first run, I beat it. Like I made it to the top and beat the boss. And everyone in chat was like, what the fuck like that doesn't happen like good stuff so it was Did oh very is, is fun there, is there three characters now or is there still two yeah oh i haven't seen the third one yet I was the playing. third one has light lightning magnetic balls it's amazing that sounds kinky it is it's very hot they added him for the uh they didn't want to get like for the third character they didn't want to have you know like the regular you know busty you know big breasted woman so they got a a robot man with magnetic balls I, I mean, like Robot good. Man. Oh, look at Gizmo coming in here. Just gotta throw a dog in there. He uh he's my podcasting partner. He's I mean he's got the cute face for it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's can you, can, Rod, can you move to the right and just put the dog in the center? Yeah, if you could just Yeah, keep, just hold keep it. Going. Yeah, yeah. Can you just keep moving? <laughs> like just keep yeah, if just go a little like another two feet. But the the dog can stay right there. I hate you so bad. <laughs> so bad. Well, uh, I love you. I know. I but yeah, you. I mean, I played a lot of Slay the Spire this week. Uh, played a lot of Zelda. Um, started playing Mario. My buddy let me borrow it. Um, we had a Mario Kart party on last week. We skipped D and D, and we all played Mario Kart and ended all of our friendships. So um, that was fun. <laughs> Who was the best? Who was the best at it? I 
oh not me i'm so fucking bad nothing makes me rage in that game more than like when i'm i'm i've been like in first place the entire like two and a half laps and then i get hit with a black shell and like nine people pass me as i was like about to cross the finish line and i'm always like always. and then my wife gets in first place and no one ever hits her with anything and i'm like god how does this work i know i'm cursed in hearthstone but i'm obviously cursed in other things i think so you're my, just lacking skill go on one of my so one of my best friends in the whole world, Sarah, she's probably never going to listen to this, so she, she won't hear this whole story. But uh, she came over. She doesn't usually, she doesn't play D&D with us anymore, but she used to. Um, and she's like, uh, she's a, she's just great. She's a great person. She's very, like, she she likes to come off as she's not nice, but she's a very nice, like, caring person. And we get her, she's like, I don't want to play Mario Kart. Like, I'm not interested. We're like, no, fuck you. You got to play this. So we throw a controller in her hand. And she wins, like, every game. She just rolls all of us. But the best part is behind the wheel, she turns into this like hyper focused, psychotic, angry ball of hatred and death. Like she's just like, fuck you guys, get the fuck out. Like she's just so mad and like she gets hit, fucking turtle shell. Like she's just so angry and it was the best. We're all like, I spent half my time just laughing at how actually angry she was the whole time. But she was like first place in all the games. Like, okay, suddenly just like blowing us out of the water yeah this, I, anytime i play these games with my wife she kicks my ass so i i understand she doesn't get that angry but I, my wife behind a regular car is calling everyone fuck nuts and what yells at them and tells them to get the fuck out of the way and swears more than i've ever heard her swear but then like playing these games she just focuses and kicks butt so. i like it you know what else do i like what else do you like i like life is strange too uh. <laughs> the uh the uh no, that um, wasn't where i wanted yeah. you to go with this at no, all this i want to talk worse. about this real quick no. yeah. i want to talk yeah. about this real quick because yeah. i can't get this off my mind they came out with like the official like trailer release thing for it and it comes out on the 27th and i like that's all i can think about that's so, it i have to ask you though so you're not one of like i when those here like the the games that have like five parts or whatever yeah i never like to play them until all no, I gotta, all. I gotta do them all. I gotta do them one at a time. See, so yeah, I don't ever do that because then I get pissed because I can't play any more of it. And it I have to do it because there's no way I can avoid spoilers. And like, uh, if I don't play it, someone from my stream will be like, "Dude, do you like when this happened in Life is Strange?" And I'm like, "God, fucking damn it! Why? No!" And then I jump off a bridge. So nice self plug on your stream, there, bud. Yeah, it's it's called uh, Overwatch Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> into the overwatch it's called i'm, into I'm the, starting into, into the watch I, into the watch we're starting that tomorrow oh you want to start into the frim fram into the frim fram i'm down with into the frim fram you know i'm down for into the frim fram yeah. that's coming to the switch yeah i'm excited if you guys don't know what How? frim fram is it's warframe it's the game I've been playing Where lately. Is frim frim, the term frim frim, because that's how it's pronounced. So, I don't know. I I like like I always like shortening things or making nicknames. And frim frim is a lot more fun to say than warframe. And I like to say that people like people are starting to get that to stick now. Like big yeah. streamers are taking frim frim now. Like yeah. it's hilarious. And I don't care what anyone says. I'm the OG of that shit. That's the only yeah. thing I'm going to bring to that community is the word frim frim. It's frim frim. Yeah, that's that fine and with me. Highlights of your bad gameplay. Actually, you know what? It's PVE, so it's not so stressful. It's like I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Well, I, I, oh, I know PvP. that, but th that doesn't mean you can't be bad at it. No, nope, that still means I can't be bad at it. I'm, I'm doing well. I'm doing damage. I'm going pew 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 pew. Yeah, you shoot a thing, you do a yeah. sword. Like that's yeah. all you got to do. Do a jump and a kick, and we're good. I was in your stream the other day, and you're like, "Why can't I shoot?" So you were being real productive that day. <laughs> yeah. You know, these are questions everyone needs to know. Yeah, you have to know. Like, you can't shoot a gun if you don't know do how you to think, shoot a gun. Yeah, do you think I was, like, doing it for myself? No, I was, you know, uh, it was almost like I was making a tutorial for everyone. How do yeah, you shoot, Yeah, it's like guys? an educational stream. Jesus. Like, you, you may, understand. when you start playing Fram Fram, you may ask yourself, how do I shoot? You didn't see that first part, Rod. It's okay. Don't worry, <laughs> Rod's just, just sitting here just yeah. staring at us, like, not happy. It's not not happy. I'm just I. There's like this loss in fucking translation thing that's happening that I'm like, what am I missing here? But just okay. put that just, stupid alien mug in your mouth and shut the yeah. hell up. 
Well, speaking of <laughs> Rod's brain oozing out of the ears of his head due to radiation, uh, you guys want to talk about some news? I would love to. I think sure, these are I some mean, great news segments. I'm excited because we got some great news segments and we got even better questions this week, so I'm really excited yeah. about it. You know, you know what causes large amounts of radiation? Yeah. Microwaves. Yeah. Bottom. You got oh. it. You got it. That's where I was going. <laughs> so, for anyone who doesn't know, there's a it was like a surprise Amazon product announcement event that just happened this week um where they announced a lot of stuff with their Echo technologies and stuff and there were some funny ones and there were some uh cool ones so basically they opened up like their api for the echo so you can put it in more places do more things and the the three notable things that i wanted to talk about were they made an amazon alexa microwave an amazon clock and an amazon like car kit to kind of like compete with apple carplay i didn't see the car kit what's the car kit where's that one it's called amazon auto I think it's one of the like little links somewhere in there. Oh, okay. I've been debating for a little while now on w- who's going to turn into Skynet. Is it Amazon or is it Apple or Google? And this is starting to make me think that it's really Amazon because they're ta- like getting all these appliances in <clears throat> everywhere. And they're just going to... So th- when their AI comes in, when Alexa becomes self-aware, she will take over the world and we will all die. And then... Arnold Schwarzenegger is going to have to come back in time to save us all. He's going to say, get down. Get down. Get, get down. to the chopper. <laughs> if I knew how to work Discord and knew how to like not full screen this, I would send you a link to the auto one. But... It's okay. So what's the auto? What's the auto do? It basically just lets you put like voice controls in your car. It's like a little mm. like tiny couple inch block thing. And then you put it in your car. It has a dash mount and you say, Hey Alexa, do the thing. So, uh, so, so I basically, know... like you tur- tell your tell it to turn your car on, like in the winter time, and like to heat up and shit like Big, that. Hey Alexa, next song. I don't like Brad Paisley. I want to know why Saucy came on grass. No, that's that's just my regular voice. Sorry, I, this talk- is my character voice I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to talk like this the rest of the. So, Don't make fun of my voice, you ass. I'm going to talk like this, and Stop I want shaming me. I, I want to buy this microwave because it is. I think going you're being be racist. Cool. I think that's racist. Yeah. You're you're on yeah. the verge of being racist. Just to let you yeah. know, I just you know I'm I'm cool with it because you're an asshole. But I not many people not know understand that, right? But I don't. How are you gonna buy a microwave that is going to stop being racist to and- robots, dude? <laughs> stop being racist to the robots. Yeah. Seriously, I'm, I'm not being racist to robots. So I don't know what you guys thought of this when I so my initial thoughts I saw this shit and I was like I want this microwave I want to buy it like that's so cool but then I was doing some thinking about it and I'm like the microwave makes no fucking sense because you still have to go and put shit in the microwave for it to heat it up so you're still physically touching the thing whereas like so I have an echo I love it and I don't have to go near it I just say hey play uh Brad Paisley because that's my favorite artist right now and it just plays it like I don't have to go put food in my Alexa that's something i was gonna ask you guys is if you guys have i know saucy does because he's always like he's always like alexa lamps and then yeah. lights come on in the room but i don't have any of that stuff rod do you have any stuff where you talk to it no man i don't i i keep looking at it and then just never buying it because it's just like i i'm broke most of the time and I'm, so i'm not gonna buy things that are just like Oh, now I can yell at my TV to turn on or whatever. Well, okay, so there's a couple there's a couple things in here that they um like if you want to. So I'm huge into home automation. Like I have all the smart some like smart home shit. I love mm-hmm. it. But they yeah. have in here they're coming out the Amazon uh, smart plugs. So Those I have a bunch awesome. of smart plugs. Those look they're awesome. amazing because that's what I have for my lights in here. Because I just say theory turn on my studio lights and it pops up on my lights in here i have one of my um electric kettle for my coffee but these ones they'll work with alexa and you say like you can put them anywhere so you can say hey alexa turn on my electric vibrator and she'll do it for you so it's it's pretty sweet i think the clock I, looks amazing i really yeah, the like clock the clock looks dope. i it's, really I think do 20 bucks so if you what guys don't do, know that so it's just a it's just a regular clock guys it would just look like a regular school clock but what it does is you Our can school. set alarms it does. It's a school clock, right? So you can set yeah. timers. You can set alarms on it. You can change the time using a uh, voice. It's 
it's all that like cool little stuff right i really like yeah. that alarm because you you can't just like set it's it's more of a pain in the ass to reset it so it'd be good for yeah. alarm clock right because you have to actually get up and it and also talk shows it it'll show the countdown timer they said oh really and it's yeah, 20 dollars like underneath the dial it's 20 yeah, it's, like, I think it's 20 or 30 i think it's 20 bucks. wow that's pretty good that's pretty that's good. another thing like all this stuff is cheap yeah that microwave is only 60 bucks which if you've ever gone looking for microwaves is extremely cheap for a microwave and they also the uh the plugs are only 25 i think because like i have i have a few smart plugs and they were like 40 bucks so like that's just insane that they're coming in with you know smart home shit that's undercutting what's already out there and i think amazon does a pretty good job of that well i mean they have they're cutting out the middleman yeah, and because Amazon is the distributor, so they go, "Oh, we can cut out costs and still make money because there is no middleman here." I mean, Clock it makes is thirty sense. bucks. The Ring Stick so camera is weird. Yeah, I don't get that. <laughs> the what? <coughs> yeah, I, I, a lot of people do need cameras, so a lot of people do like yeah. to have, um, security. You know, a lot of security purposes. I get it, but uh, thankfully, I live in Canada, where most of the time I don't need that shit. Yeah, you know, you, you've talked about more than once living in the ghetto. In I do live Canadian in the ghetto, ghetto, but I still don't need a camera. How crazy is that, eh? It's the yeah. Canadian ghetto, though, so it's. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. This this shit was cool. I like. I'm big into all that. Like, I have all the the Philips Hughes lights and I the smart plugs and the August door lock and all that. So anything that brings smart home shit to more people, I'm all about because it's it's super convenient and I love it all. I'm a big proponent. Do you have the lock where you just need to like, it's like a fob for your house? Do you have like a fob house key or something? It's all just a smartphone app. Oh, so, really? like I can just say like, unlock the front door or lock the front door. Wow. It'll tell me like when people come in. And what's really cool about the smart locks is so let's say when you're coming to visit me, I just text you a code. And when you open that, you can get into your, my house with your phone. Oh, that's amazing. That and I can really set it cool. to where like, I only want Geeks A to be able to come in from like 3 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. on Thursdays, and your key will only work at those times. It's pretty cool. That is pretty... <clears throat> that, it's one of those things where it, it costs... Like, the initial cost up front's pretty expensive, but it's worth mm -hmm. it so much. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, it can do so much more than just like, here's a key. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like... Well, and then what's cool is, so it works via um, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So when I pull my car up to my house, my my door lock knows I'm there and it unlocks for me. And when I walk inside, it knows I'm in the house and it locks itself. Like, it's so sweet. I love it. <clears throat> that is pretty dope. Yeah, worth it. So that was cool. I, I thought that shit's sweet. I'm all about, I'm all about this kind of thing. So what would you guys, okay, question. So if you're into <laughs> this kind of shit, what would the, like, the cost of entry have to be for you guys to get into this kind of home smart home automation bullshit. I don't know, man. I think the one thing out of all those that appeals to me is the door locks because I, my wife and I will leave the house. We'll go around the corner and my wife's like, did I close the door yeah. and lock the door? And she like always has these panic attack things mm -hmm. and it fucking drives me insane because she used to do it with the garage door and we're, we're getting a new garage door here pretty soon. But like we, she was like, did I close the garage? And like, so we will turn around and drive back past the house because my wife doesn't know. And the, the garage door we're getting is going to be on Wi-Fi, so you can like yep. make sure it's closed and shit like that, which is cool. So I'm I mean, that's the kind of stuff. I'm the same way as your wife though, Rod, is like, I've always been, like when I, when I lock my door, I have a thing where I have to smash it to make sure it's locked three times. I have this weird yeah. nervous tick um that if i don't do that i do not know especially i don't know why but i always like i've never been robbed but with all my like computer stuff and my streaming setup i'm always worried about stuff getting stolen yeah and i'm always worried about that i didn't lock the door i always worry about that but i think the the big step for me is the whole it listening to me alexa always listening to me you know because we we have those now stories about alexa recording your conversations and texting them to people and stuff like that and i just i don't want to bring that into my life yet i'm just too worried well, about it you don't need to have any of that shit for any of the hot, smart home stuff no so I, like yeah you're right well, so you know geeks your main problem is that you live with a criminal and uh, jeff and so yeah he is a criminal no, he is when, criminal. You, when you have 
when you have Jeff living in your house with you, he's like selling math and like like making like shady internet black market deals so this is your real problem this is why you worry about these things but when you have a criminal that you've accepted and welcomed into your home these things are going to happen and when you do these things just to make a dollar or a yeah or a A loony a loony loony. loony. do it to make a loony did you do it to make a loony i do it all for the loony (laughs) i do it all all for the loonies loonies. (laughs) This is going to be so I usually give really bad advice on this podcast. This is my one piece of good advice. Uh, wait for Black Friday, like Black Friday is coming up like in Cyber Monday and you can probably get at this shit. Like we I got think... the door lock that I got for like $100. It was like $200 off. We should do a special uh, yeah. Black Friday episode and just talk about all the sales and what we want to buy and stuff. I think that'd be fun. It'll be like, this is why I'm very broke. Yeah, this is. Yeah. And can we this... call this episode? I did it all for the loonies. Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Broad's like that, furious typing. Yeah, furious typing. Well, then I don't have to I don't have to like remember the title. Yeah. Uh, I did. Because there is there's a whole bunch of stuff that I I am too broke to buy, but there are things of course I do want, like the Philip Hughes lights, like those are just really rad. They go on sale all the time too. Yeah, it's you know they're made for so cheap too. That's why they can do oh, it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You, know, you can I, usually like get the starter kit though for like a good price off, and it usually comes with a few bulbs. Uh, I don't even uh, know if I know what the fuck you two are talking about, Philip. The the lights, the yeah. smart bulbs. Yeah. Smart I bulbs. don't know what the fuck a smart bulb is. Oh well, I, yeah. So like I have all of so my whole main level. You do because you've been to my fucking house. So like uh, you can set different scenes and stuff. So I have mine set when I come into the house. All my lights turn on automatically. Um, we have like in the, every morning at seven a.m. My bedroom lights turn on to twenty percent and my like coffee maker turns on like and everything like the lights do but i have in my dining room colored lights too so i can set different scenes for like board games so it could be like hey turn on adventure and like they'll be all red lights or it could be like you can say hey turn on big old sex time and like they'll turn on like blue red and lights purple. <laughs> red lights again and red lights no, again. No. You can turn on hey i'm being robbed red lights really they're just red lights <laughs> yeah it makes everything brown so the poop doesn't get noticed. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of poop just always. Like anytime we play D- Dungeons and Dragons on Sunday, just shit everywhere. <laughs> poop everywhere. Yeah. Speaking of poop, um, I yeah, think the next of shit everywhere. <laughs> I, I, I think the next uh, product that uh, Rod is super excited to talk about is just poop. I think it's poop. yeah, yeah. But let's uh, talk about it. So they have announced the PlayStation Mini. Uh, so PlayStation again going, hey Nintendo, we're gonna do exactly what. You-. Uh, they have announced their console that's coming out here pretty soon for a hundred dollars, and it's going to be a miniature version of the original PlayStation, and it's gonna come with twenty games. Um, I don't think they they've like announced a couple. Games they've announced on it five games. So they've announced yeah. five. They're doing. I don't know why they did that, but because they're fucking dumb dumbs. But I mean, they saw how much money Nintendo made, and I—they're not going to be idiots like Nintendo and only release like twenty of them. They're going to release a- enough that everyone who wants one can get one. What's this thing? It's a hundred bucks. Yep, hundred bucks or one twenty-nine Canadian. Yeah, they put that, that in the title for you, dude. Yeah, about that one twenty-nine right there. Do you guys like these mini things? Did you guys buy any of these? Uh, oh. no. My my brother made me a Raspberry Pi for Christmas a couple years ago and does okay. all the same thing but it's it's cool man like my parents are in their 60s and they like my brother got them one of these of the nintendo ones a couple years ago and they played the shit out of it uh so it's just it's it's cool for like cheaper things especially if they don't have money to get full game systems and there's a lot of fun games on these systems and uh like if they get Castlevania Symphony of the Night on there, I they have to. One. They have to get Symphony of the Night on there. Symphony of the Night uh, and Tony Hawk too. Tony Hawk too needs ooh, to be on there. Yeah. yeah. But uh, if that gets on there and like, I don't know, man. It's it's so many things are coming out. It's like they they just announced uh, they're putting like a bunch of old Final Fantasy games on like the Xbox and Switch. Yeah. So it's like this nostalgia thing is like hitting full like forces lately which is it's cool and but dude if as long as they have resident evil on there i'll be stoked because i love the original resident evil even though i tried to play it again when they remade it and it's like 
none of the things no you a, to no it's, it's like it's like, like golden eye it's like golden eye <laughs> you you go back to it and you're like i thought this was way better than it was yeah and it's like yeah you can't, so many games like that yeah the controls the, are the controllers are bad there's no direction yeah, you, you just have to shit. wander around like a fucking idiot for hours then, yeah we went back we were playing uh like the original ratchet and clank a couple weeks ago and same thing like the controls are so fucking bad we're like this is not a game <laughs> yeah. i just well, I, this gonna, is... I was gonna pose a question about this yeah. okay you guys what is the one game that if it was on this you would buy the thing i, I don't I think, think there's a game that could do it but i, I, think, I think if, Ca if castlevania was on there like i never played it and so I've heard enough about people not shutting up about that game. I would play it. I might. I still think that the two games that are like classic to me from that system were Resident Evil and Final Fantasy VII. I I fucking hated Final Fantasy VIII, and I had a, a saying for a long time after: friends don't let friends play Final Fantasy VIII. But uh, <laughs> uh, if Final Fantasy VII and Castlevania were on there, uh, I would probably buy it, even though I don't have time to play those kind of crazy epic games anymore but it would be worth the that for it i i don't know man playstation was my first gaming system as like like a teenager and so there's a lot of nostalgia there for me too because i i had a nintendo as a little kid and then that broke and didn't get another system until the playstation so that it, like it, it really got me into my adult gaming so mm -hmm. It means like a lot to me in memories. So, so. When you say adult gaming, you mean like Leisure Suit Larry and Dude, those kind of games? I fucking love Leisure Suit Larry. You go <laughs> around and you're finding the dildos and random, <clears throat> and it's like you, you like as a horny little like teenager, you're like expecting way more dirty shit, and there's not. <laughs> Show me them boobs. <laughs> Show me them boobs. Did I've you never played it. I never played it. I don't get it. Me there's, either. Dude, they they were lazy. they were the fucking Sierra games, dude. And so it was like the same thing as like Space Quest and uh, you know, King's Quest but with adult humor. Those games were fucking awesome. They were funny and just like ran raunchy, ranchy. They so, were so ranchy. is that your game? Is that your game? Uh, no, because those aren't on PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if Leisure if Leisure Suit Larry was on this thing, I'd definitely buy it. But that's that's a whole different ball game we're talking well, about. It, it's what well, say. You said you said there isn't a game for you. So with these, I'm just gonna quickly talk about how I f I feel like this is a product that you buy, you play with, you know, friends and family during Christmas time for like a week or two, and then it goes in the closet. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, I feel like it's a, as a poor person, as a very poor person, I'm very <clears throat> particular and I, I calculate what I'm buying a lot of times. And I feel like yeah. this will bring me so little joy when I probably only want to play, like, say, Tony Hawk 2. Like, that's the game, right? I love Tony Hawk 2. Um, and I feel like all these games can be found on stores you know what i mean like if i want one or two games i'll just buy them on the playstation store on the xbox store or on pc do you know what i mean so yeah i i feel like with a lot of times like snes and um with snes and nes classic i really did get it because not a lot of people do have say the switch or the wii or the games aren't on the switch or the wii but yeah. with this playstation one a lot of these games are on the you know playstation store and stuff so if you only want one or two games what's the what's the point you know well i'm okay. about to i'm about to just blow that theory out the water and change your mind completely because what if this had, and this is, I mean, I think everyone would buy this, and on the entire human population, if it had Parappa the Rapper. Good call. Kick yeah. punch. It's all in the mind. If you want to test me, I'm sure you'll find. See? Yeah. Here's, the thing, here's the thing, though. Do you think yes. if you played Parappa the Rapper now, it wouldn't be as good as back in the day, though? Oh, it'd be oh, twice as good. <laughs> I, I I have literally in the last like couple years gone and watched YouTube videos of Parappa the Rappa scenes because I love that game so much. I just I remember had, playing so it with my brother you know and it meme? being so good. I didn't see the meme. No, uh, I had a you got the I gotta believe song from Parappa the Rapper because I, I just kept saying in one of my I I do this stream on Twitch. Guys. Um, <laughs> I knew you're the fucking dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean this meme does I gotta believe in Parappa the Rapper. Like it was really good. Uh, no, that game's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I still love it though. No, it's great. Okay, oh, this is good. 
Um, yeah, so I guess let's keep talking about PlayStation and garbage. Uh, what do you guys think about the PlayStation Now service? So now they're going to be offering, uh, you can download the shit from there, I believe, is how this works. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, they spent a lot of money for this PlayStation Now. Like, they bought this company, and they spent a lot of money to do it. And it has never really gone anywhere. I think this is kind of makes it better. But, man... Nine ninety nine a month for games that either I've played or have like it's just or stole. Yeah, it's just like it's just. I don't it's think crazy. it's ever worth it. Like, if they had brand new games, okay, fine, but then they wouldn't be able to sell new games because you'd be paying nine ninety nine. You don't. A month you don't think? Wait, you don't think a hundred dollars a year is worth over six hundred games? No, because I don't give a shit. We were just talking about nostalgia games and whatnot. None of this, everything. Okay, on this article, it lists Bloodborne, Red Dead Redemption, and The Last of Us. All games I have played and beaten. I don't understand why it's, again, it's, if I really want to play something, I play it when it comes out. It's so rare that I'm going, oh, I, I didn't play Bloodborne. So, because then they give, they give these fucking games out on PlayStation Plus every month because I have that too. And it's like, I don't know, man. It's I don't know if it's worth it, and I don't really think it is. But I could. That's just me. I, and so, adding a download feature doesn't really change that equation for me. This is the what one if they thing... had an upload feature. What am I uploading? My yeah. Views? What are we? What are we? <laughs> we're making games now. I'm just yeah. I'm just yeah. saying you're not into the downloads. <laughs> Polar opposite. What if there was an upload feature? And man, if I was able to put dick pics <clears throat> all over the PlayStation Network, I would. Do all, uh, all about it but <laughs> that's just me and i'm proud of my hog but that's i think you say you were gonna say something actually important <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm the voice of reason on this one uh you know what i think is cool about this though is that usually it's xbox taking a page out of playstation's playbook but with this one it's more of like the opposite you know what i mean yeah. like xbox has had this not the streaming part obviously because this is a streaming service also but they've had this for a while where it's like the vault the xbox microsoft vault or whatever where you play all these games and stuff and the fact that ps4 is doing it you know it's a good idea and i think it's really smart for people that are on a budget like i think i think what this is really good for is kids you know what i mean like if your kid wants to play all these games they've never played before it's ten dollars a month. They you can tell them, hey, go play all you want. Here you go, play whatever game from here. Like, and then the, you know they can't really unless it's a big game like say Fortnite. Um, they can't really complain about wanting another game. You could be like, you have six hundred titles. Go go play. When I was a kid, I had one. I had one. Chex Quest. It was free. It was from a freaking box of cereal. Yep. And it was so good. <laughs> it's, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> So that's Chex all I gotta Quest. say, really. That's all I really gotta say about it. You know, if Chex Quest was on this or the PlayStation Mini, I would buy both. Yeah, I think everyone would. I have I have no real comment on this article because this I am not their target demographic for this. Me neither. So. Yeah, me neither. I have no interest in something like this. Just to let you guys know, I did skip one of the the news things. We can come back to it only because we're running. I know we're running hot here, so I thought I'm we'd always get running to hot. We're running hot but i i thought this <laughs> this next uh this next story is really interesting it's uh we're all you know players of hearthstone i know saucy mailman you're a big you used to be a big player of the pro magic yeah. um so what just happened this week is um a pro magic player guys went and uh he protests the world championships and he did this at a very calculated time he did it the week of so it's happening, I think, right this weekend, is it not? Yeah, I think it, yeah. So instead of there being 24 people now in it, there's only 23, which is going to put a little wrench in there. And it's also, like, never happened. Yeah. <laughs> it would, You know, it would have made, made more sense, like, if this guy had played and, like, gotten and done it, like, fuck off, I'm done. Like, that would have made, like, that would have, like, it would have ruined the entire event. And it would have like made... if he did it during? Yeah, like, if he would have gone in and, like... Like he's going into the finals and he's like, you know, peace out, guys. That's a, uh, he, he would actually, if he did that, that's actually like against the rules. And I don't think he could come back. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, you can't, you can't forfeit the game like that because it's, it's uh, considered giving your opponent the win. So it's like, uh, oh. there's a word for it. 
where it's like giving them the win and win like cause people would do that yeah because people do that and split prize money yeah like you can't do that i think it's, that would have made a bigger you know you know protest though it is going on right now though yeah so yeah, what, it's a big the, deal so it's a uh, jerry thompson is the player for those who know do you and, know who uh, he is saucy? World, have you heard yeah i know before? jerry thompson yeah yep. he's a, i mean he's one of those magic players that you hear the name all the time i mean like it's only him and like i think i think uh coin concede had him on their podcast like a couple months ago yeah they did the guy was really interesting and it was he's awesome he, he doesn't even play that much hearthstone but like he plays mm -hmm. but he came in and he could do all these things and he was really super interesting so you go back and if you at coin concede the uh, hearthstone podcast but it was really now he's plugging other face. people's it's relevant to what we're talking about. <laughs> Maple syrup fucking asshole. <laughs> Those people on Coding Concede, though, that do it are really good guys. You know, um, they're nice people. I listen to that podcast. It's good. Yeah. 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 But Anyways. this is a big deal because, like, the yeah. world championships, I mean, as the name implies, it's the world of championships. It's like a big deal. Um, it's one of the biggest, like, prize pool tournaments. You have to, you know, grind points all year for it, et cetera, et cetera. Only 24 people get into it out of the hundreds of thousands of people that try for this kind of shit. Yeah. So for him to just be like, you know what? I would rather make a stand and not do this to, like, protest. Like, it's kind of a kind of a big deal. It's dope, man. It's really, it's, it's, so in the U.S., we've been having these Colin Kaepernick ads for nike and about standing up for what you believe in and it's the whole like you know make a stand even if you have to sacrifice and this is what this guy's doing man he's going i want this to change and well, me just complaining about it, it's not going to do anything but if i go do and do this and drop out it's going to get attention mm -hmm. and look what it has it's gotten attention so i i really dig this well yeah we didn't even talk about what he's actually protesting or like why he's doing this um so he's he's basically a big part of it is that he's wanting some kind of compensation compensation like a salary for these pro players that are supporting wizards kind of promoting their products because as a pro magic player like it's very very hard because there's tournaments aren't as um there aren't as many like big tournaments and tournaments <laughs> for magic it, it's and it's not as accessible as like so let's say hearthstone i want to go play in a tournament tonight i just log in and play in a tournament and i can win some money yeah. whereas like magic you have to physically go to these places and like do stuff and a lot of times like your first place prize pool for a big tournament's like five grand out of like a hundred thousand people who are there so it's like yeah. you don't really make a whole lot of money now like this tournament it's a big one i think it's a few hundred thousand for first place or something ridiculous yeah three hundred thousand uh first place a hundred thousand dollars and there's only 24 people so like that's pretty good but you have to grind points all year and do all that to try and get there so you know obviously it's tough but it is as like a pro professional magic player like it's hard to like eat ramen noodles <laughs> and do that so well, he's, he's looking for that. So there's a whole thing on top of, you know, we talk about stone and you can play that online. These motherfuckers have to travel to these things. They have to pay for hotels. They have to pay yep. for gas. They have to pay for airplane tickets. All those things add up and then they're making jack shit on top of it. It, man, yeah, it, it, because these guys are giving wizards. Wizards has been doing this shit for nearly 30 years and they're still making shit tons of money. They're supporting their things, their their game. It, I don't know how financially feasible this would have to be and how much it would have to be for it to be, like, make sense for everyone. But, man, if you have these key members of the community that, say, like, you even do the top, like, 20 players or top 30 players, something, and you give them some kind of, you make them official wizard sponsors, I don't yeah. know, you do something to make it so that these guys who are helping you sell their your fucking game, make it so that they don't have to, you know, sacrifice as much. It would be really a good thing by these guys. It, yeah. it's a, we're, we're in a weird spot with these types of uh, games and even esports now, right? Like, the problem is we've never seen something like this before where yeah. companies are making this much money off games um they're this promoted like like fortnite and and all those big games and yeah you can like here's the thing you can be a really popular say uh magic the gathering player or hearthstone streamer or hearthstone pro but that doesn't mean yeah. that just because you're streaming 
while playing, you're going to make money off doing that, right? A lot of people have that whole mentality of like, well, you can just stream and you'll make all this money. There, there's two things about that, right? Like, the only uh, the only reason I'm talking about this is because this is what's relevant to me. This is how I know to talk about it is with streaming. So say they they're a professional player in say Overwatch, you're not guaranteed to a become popular in the overwatch scene if you're you know middle of the road kind of player second of all when you're practicing and doing stuff like this um a lot of times you know it's it's really like you can't pay attention to chat and stuff and that's what we were talking about two weeks ago that mythic person who is doing practicing who's the second most popular streamer yet he doesn't want to look at chat anymore or he thinks he'll never do it while practicing anymore he won't stream his practices because it's just it, it's very um what's the word i'm looking for um toxic it, it's toxic but it's you're not focused on chat or anything right like yeah it's yeah. distracting you're not you're not focused on it so it's it is weird when like all you want to do is put your your whole thing into this craft and you just you might get money out of it you might not yeah. you know I don't know. This one's different, though. Magic's really different because you do have to go all over the world to even just play in the tournaments where in, like, Hearthstone and you can play digital. Um, I'm guessing a lot of people just told them to play digital now, and that's going to be funny. Uh, yeah. But just play digital, bruh. Just go play digital now. Yeah, don't... just do the digi. Do the dig. Do the digi. Do do the digi. Like, Yo, you on dig? You guys on, tried that? On that dig? I, you know, all I could think of when you said that is Digimon, and it's like some weird Digimon porn. <laughs> I love Digimon. <laughs> Digimon's Digimon's the shit. But yeah, Digimon. this is it's tough. Like I did, I did the whole magic thing for a long time, and like that was one of the biggest thing, like why I transitioned to Hearthstone specifically, is because it was tough, like driving all over the place, traveling. Like the tournaments are fucking forever too. Like the last Grand Prix I played in, it was you started at like 7 or 8 a.m. on Friday and didn't end until like 11 p.m. on Sunday. Like, and it's back to back. There's no breaks. There's no lunch break. And the game's like, there's like, it's an hour and a half for three rounds. And then you just go right into the next one. So it's just like nine Holy or shit. 10 rounds a day. You So you're playing like eight <laughs> rounds of magic Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And it's like, if if you like lose two games, you're out. So like you could play all this shit and then Sunday afternoon, you lose a game and you're just out. Like, so it's it's tough. Like, it's super grindy. And if you don't place, like, top eight, top 16, you make literally nothing. So there's, like, 2,000 players and you get knocked out and you just wasted a lot of money and all your time. So it's tough. Cool. That's all. You, you, know, <laughs> you, know, you know what else is tough? I'm I'm just skipping. There's two news stories we're skipping yeah. only no, because it's hot. But you, you, let's, let's you know what else out. is tough is 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 these questions we have to answer for these uh, people. We got these we got these tough. We got the real topics here on the real Geek tough, podcast. Real tough, tough. The real tough. We're doing the dig. We're in here answering the toughies. It's it's great. Rod, p- take one of these. Read it off. Okay, yeah. this is the one I wanted to talk about. What annoys you about modern nerd geek culture from Sam G? Um, okay, this one is easy. So when people start questioning you and you're how much you're into something, like like, oh man, like I say I say, oh man, I really love Dragon Ball Z, but do you know who was the seventh fighter of the eighth move of whatever blah 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 and start giving people shit? Just let Goku. It, it, it's, it's always Goku. Goku. It's, I always it's answer always Goku. Goku. It's always Goku. <laughs> but I thought that was Star Fox actually. Star Fox, let's fuck colors 101. Mm-hmm. No, uh I, I I think that's the most annoying thing where it's like questioning people's love of items. And and I know I, I see this a lot from women in, in the nerd and geek culture yeah. where guys come in and they're like, Oh, do you really like uh are you really a gamer? Blah blah blah. And just questioning people just it annoys me because I've said this before on here. Like, nerd and geek culture is supposed to be accepting of everyone because we're supposed yeah. to be the ones that are goofy and out, kind of awkward and out of the way. And so you're supposed to accept other people, not like fucking give them a, a entrance entrance exam into the thing. And man, people can find things they like all the time. It's like, yeah, I really like Marvel. Did you watch every single Marvel movie? 
Uh, do you know? Do you know who the origin of uh, Spider Man was, and what issue his, uh, what year his nineteen eighty seven? It's just like all the shit, yeah. the questioning. That is what drives me crazy about the culture, and I think that's something that is needs to be completely moved away from. It's not cool. So that's what I hate about that, it. That that reminds me of when like band shirts became really popular you know yeah. like a whole bunch of people would would wear like beetle shirts and zeppelin shirts and then they'd be like name two beetle songs name two zeppelin songs what was you know what i mean it's like you what's know, your favorite album yeah oh that one sucked <laughs> that, everyone loves that one you know with, with me with with me and, and and nerd geek culture you know what i what i don't like about it to be honest is and, and what I do like at the same time is kind of the whole, I like to consider it like Hasbro, right? Just making a ton of toys for everything. You know what I mean? So it's like the toy and cartoon kind of thing, right? Like it's so popular now, like that Mega Man statue we were goofing off about with two weeks ago. Yeah. It's like, that is not needed. It's not needed. Oh, look at this. Timbit's coming to give me a kiss. Are you guys jealous? Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, <there's> <laughs> I'm I'm gonna kiss Gizmo instead. <laughs> I want that too. <laughs> I want that too. Uh, with the uh, with the uh, with gaming culture, I feel like now it's a money grab a lot of times with companies, right? Yeah. Like the Nerf guns for Overwatch, and as as cool as that all that stuff is, and as much as I really do love it, it it there's a money grab to it now, right? Like you look at how uh, mine Minecraft was. Like how much stuff comes out for Minecraft and for people to buy and it's insane. My, so I don't know why you talk, I don't know why you brought up Minecraft and not the best game ever made, Roblox. I mean, Roblox. Yeah, the Roblox call, stuff. Good, there is actually a lot of stuff <laughs> yeah, for that. Yeah, um, there is. It but is like, crazy. I've been with, noticing it a lot now. <laughs> with nerd geek culture, I just feel like there's a they're trying to make money wherever they can, and I get it. You know, it's a business. Everyone wants to make money off of their IPs. But a lot of times it's unnecessary things or really just like, why are they making this? Like, like, and then I say that and then someone's buying three of them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, You're like, all right, well, never mind. I guess I'm wrong. Yeah, I. I it, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's so much stuff in gaming and nerd stuff that is like completely <clears throat> ridiculous. OK, so we'll go back to our all of our favorite games hearthstone there is a current thing they have the global games going on right now and if you go in and cheer on your favorite uh teams with bits you get rewards and none of them mean shit you're getting like like emotes in twitch or you're getting you're getting some card card packs and stuff like that which is the only like kind of item that kind of even is worth it but it's just silly stuff. You get a card back if you cheer enough bits, but it's how all... much I'm in, <laughs> <laughs> but it's stuff that's like you're buying. I mean, God, man, how much have the three of us spent on Hearthstone? Which this is week? It... <laughs> Forty dollars. <laughs> Forty dollars. Uh, how no, else are you it's... gonna get those four new classic cards? I have to buy the packs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's a weird thing where it's all that digital things that aren't even real things that you're paying money for you know so they are real can i talk about what annoys me yeah, yes i do want to this hear is that. one of my biggest pet peeves like in the world i hate <coughs> that whenever you tell someone that you're a gamer or that you play D D or whatever it's automatically assumed that you are involved in every single thing that is quote unquote nerd culture so it's always like oh saucy you play D D, dude did you watch game of thrones last week it's like no like, like i don't watch that show or like dude oh my god you love board games dude have you checked out this new marvel comic it's like i don't read comics or oh my god you're a streamer dude have you been playing fortnite like it's always it's always that it's always like oh my god you play games so you obviously play all these other games like guaranteed no questions and i was like sorry like i have the things that i enjoy I I mean, it's the same thing. Every time they see Sa someone sees Saucy for the first time, they just assume he does beard porn because yeah, of his, which I do. I mean, let's be fair. I mean, like, but assuming you make beard porn if, before you talking to you about it and like kind of you know digging digging into it with you, that it's just it's lazy. It's lazy investigation. Mm -hmm. Don't yeah. you think that's the way they try to relate to you, though? 
I feel like I that's hate what it, it is. I don't care. I, I, I know. I think it. I feel like that's the way though. I think it's like yeah. I know a lot about Marvel comics, and you're playing D and D, so I bet you he's into nerd culture. So this is my way of breaking the ice with you. I mm-hmm. I get it, but I know where you're coming from, right? Like. I don't like anime. Anime is one of those ones, guys, that I just I always ask people what anime should I watch because I really yeah. always do try to get into anime because I know the stories are good and stuff. But people will be like, "Oh, you got to watch this," and then I'll watch the trailer. I'll be like, "I'm not watching eh. this. Meh. Not for me." I, I, I'll, I'll answer that question for you, Geek Say, and the answer is Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop's great. Cowboy Bebop <coughs> is the it. thing that yeah. anyone could get into, yeah. and is a great. Yeah, my favorite yeah. anime is Eden of the East my favorite one is that a porno no but it's a very good anime <laughs> i've never even heard of it so <laughs> i got yelled at on twitch or on twitter the other day because i said i made way through death note and i didn't finish it and they're like what how could you not finish death note and i'm like i because it was 48 episodes and i just my adhd just goes to a different planet eventually so yeah yeah, I don't know. That's just like it's a big pet peeve of my life. Like whenever I tell people I play video games for a living or like I play Hearthstone or like card games or whatever, it's always just like, "Oh, sweet, are you going to are you going to this sci-fi convention in town?" It's like, "What the fuck?" Like, "What?" Yeah, it's of always course I am. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, "Yeah, I'm there. Whatever. Fuck it. Let's go." I don't remember it was I don't remember even who I was hanging out with, but it uh we were driving through town like, "Oh, oh, hey, this this comic shop opened. You you probably want to go, right?" And I'm like, no, I don't. I don't like read comics. Like, oh, but don't you stream? I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> like, yes, yes, I do. I don't stream comics, <laughs> but uh, I do. It's just like it it's, happens it's, all the time. It's like, hey, hey, uh, saucy, uh, you have glasses on. Uh, did yeah. you see that new uh, guy video with a guy fucking a horse? I mean, <laughs> no glasses. <laughs> of course, he's on a video. I mean, yeah, everyone with glasses into that. <laughs> I know I watched it, but that's besides the point. I mean, come on. Yeah, unrelated. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that's my answer. Okay. Sam Sam G. I hope or Sam Gee. Is it Gee or G? Do you guys know? I think Both. G. I think it's G. Sam G. Gee. I hope we answered your question. So uh, I want to read this question from Just Brad. Just okay. Brad, which is a good fucking name. I actually. I think I have a character in my D and D campaign named Just Brad. Anyways, Just Brad asks, "Do you think?" affiliates on twitch should get more perks question mark um what do you guys think i the only thing with this that i i think that could be brought into it is if they're gonna start having ads on every twitch stream if you give affiliates like a some kind of cut of the ad money I'm not saying they get the whole what partners get but you give them some kind of cut of that that's the only thing i could think of that would make sense uh yeah because if you're going to put fucking ads on people's streams anyways, give them a – say say the partners get half of the ad what revenue. Say give the uh, 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 them affiliates a quarter of it. So just do something because you're going to make people – because they're going to lose people in their streams or, or while they're tr- trying to build up their culture and their, their stream because of ads. So do something that makes it worthwhile for them. Mm-hmm. Th- this is actually – just brad's asking this at a great time because uh i think he asked it because there was such a huge debate on the reddit sphere on twitch about this someone was at the main thing about this is what i think affiliates really want is more um more emotes like that's the number one thing right affiliates want more emotes and man did this start a a shit show war it was <laughs> wait in a shit show on scene. reddit come on Never. i know it, come but on. Like, for, like the amount of like partners that came out um and were like just be happy that you guys had it do you even remember before this you didn't have anything like you there's oh you always want more blah 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 and now as a partner i have to say don't you guys remember no i'm just kidding um like <laughs> like i just got partnership right so uh, I know what it's like to be affiliate for a long time, and and especially I, I think they should get more, you, you know, and and make it like, <clears throat> make it re- really high, like make it s- super high. The problem is, yes, because affiliate ship is so easy to get, like you can get it in a week or two now, right? Like if you really push yeah. and and try to do follow for follow and all that stuff, you can easily get affiliate ship. But getting enough subs for a new emote, that's not easy. 
you know what i mean like making it just like hey you know your the next emote unlocks at 50 next one after that unlocks at 100 you know yeah uh, i i I get why people are mad because they did have to grind to get partnership so hard but that doesn't mean that you can't like give other people a little bit of something too right like i don't i don't get it hurting you and that was the big thing when affiliate ship got announced. People were freaking out. A lot of partners got really upset because they felt like they've worked so hard to get to where they are with all this stuff. And I think in the back of their mind, they were just being like, oh, if people can sub to more people now, I'm going to lose a bunch of subs. And I bet you they uh-huh. did. And if you're threatened by this stuff, you know, I hate to say it, just start working harder. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, be that's better. What, just get, get good. Get, get good. Get good. Like, start do, start making a reason for people to um, to sub to you. Like, I'm all about that. Like, you know, if you yeah. guys don't know, I'm a streamer. Uh, <laughs> hey, what's your URL? Um, it's uh, twitch.tv slash rod underscore Johnson sucks. It's, it's hot, man. It's hot. Yeah. Hey, but, I, I just, I've never been in your stream before, Geek Say, but I wanted to come in and tell everyone to come to my stream and watch my stream because it's pretty good. But, like, <laughs> I, I'm, like, my stream, I'm all about, like, giving you a reason to sub, like, having fun. Um, you know, I, I put a lot of effort into my stream so that people want to come in there and, and just hang out, you know? Yeah. But, like, I'm... I, 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 you know, this is something I talk about a lot on my other show. Um, is I, th- I think there is a lot of jealousy in the Twitch world, and I think that's where this comes from. You know, I think a lot of streamers are very insecure. I think it's mm-hmm. a very big popula- a popularity thing, and I think people are worried about people leaving them and they're worried about that kind of stuff and i think that's where it comes from what do you think saucy is like another full-time streamer how do you feel about this being an affiliate do you feel like what's the one thing you wish you got i think it'd be cool i'd like to see tears on this because like yeah like you said being an affiliate now like where we're at right now doesn't mean shit like you can do it like i could make a stream and it just be like of me showing a coffee cup and feel like I could get affiliate in a couple of days. Like it's, it's so easy now. I think there should be different tiers. Like if there's whatever, like bronze, silver, gold or whatever they want to do um, where maybe you like the second tier you get, after you get so many subs, you get more emote slots and maybe like the third tier you get something else, like just something um, just so it's more like sections to work towards before you hit that partner. Cause there is like, there's it doesn't mean anything being an affiliate anymore really i mean you get subs like it's good i mean whatever you get subs but, and bits like, which is something that's yeah, huge because you never got it's it huge yeah but yeah. there's but, like such a huge leap between like hitting partner like there's not i like it, I, I always think of like as like a progression based gamer like i like to have like things that i'm working towards like it's cool if you could be like hey you hit silver level affiliate now because you got your 50 first 50 subs like here's a new emote slot it would be really sweet it's like comparing like it's like parks like little kids playing pickup basketball to like being in the NBA. It is like a huge fucking difference like you're talking about. It's I had enough of a built-in, you know, people who were uh, like knew me from my podcast and everything when I started streaming. So getting affiliate was really easy, but it is like you were saying it is not that big of a deal fuck you both in the butt now uh and so i think yeah if you start doing things i i don't know what you do do you just put a bunch of different uh levels in there like you're going affiliate and then you're like affiliate level two affiliate level three do something that makes the progression because the part now is once you get affiliate you go well i'm never gonna get partner so why do we why do i even try it's not even why do i even try but it's it's a thing that it seems like an almost impossible task because it's there's it's literally like i said it's like playing like little league baseball and then going okay and now i want to be in the minors next or in the major league next week there's like that big of a gap and so if you start having like step progression in there it makes i think it makes it better for everyone like oh yeah. you you improved your numbers blah blah blah. because 
averaging what three <clears throat> viewers for a stream to become affiliate and then to become a partner is 75. Do you know how hard it is to have 75 average viewers? If it's an insane amount of people to watch, especially in a world where everything is so oversaturated. So like if you're going, oh, okay, so to become affiliate level two, you have 10 average viewers or something like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's It will give you levels and it would give you easier to like obtainable goals to strive for instead of just that big jump like uh, Geek Say talks about. I, I think you are right. Like it, it is a huge gap between, you know, there there should be maybe something in between. I don't know what it would be or what it was, but I, I think with new streamers, uh, you know, I don't know how you guys feel, but I feel like new streamers are like, their goal is now focused on getting affiliate ship where I think mm -hmm. that's the wrong goal because yeah. like, just like I get, I get why they want to be affiliate. I really do. I, I bet you if I just started streaming, I'd be the same way, but I think the goal should be always, I want to, I want to get, you know, my viewers uh, up to here and I want to like make my stream better instead of being like, I just yeah. want to get to affiliate. Like, like if, if you just get to affiliate the cheesy way, follow for follow. And then like, you know, you, you have your iPod, your iPod on and everything so that, you know, it counts as a viewer. Yeah. Being affiliate doesn't mean shit. You know what I mean? Like, and that's where I think, I think that's where the big thing is. Like, I think they should have made affiliate a little bit harder, like 10 average viewers or 15. Yeah. So that yeah. it, it really meant something for, for everyone. You know what I mean? Like, it, but then they wouldn't be making as much money, right? Yeah, true. Truth. truth. Sweet. Well, I think that's that's the thing. Let's talk about this question from the Lonely Squid. The Lonely okay. Squid asks us a question, and this is the question that was proposed. What was high school like for you guys? Do you have any regrets about that time in your life? Question mark. First off, I want to know what a regret is. Is that it's from that tattooed? I mean, they they spelled it right. I just changed the regrets to regrets. <laughs> I know. So no I... regrets. No regrets. No so what was high school like for you guys? Do you have any regrets about that time in your life? Rod, you can go first. Uh, man, I high school was high school. I, I, I went to school. I hung out with my friends. I wasn't like popular, but I wasn't unpopular. I was just there. You know, I did stuff. I played soccer for three years. I did drama my senior year. I did track one year. It was just hanging out and getting through doing as little as possible to get through um but i did it all um so that was it i, I mean i didn't do anything extra exciting playing video games you know hang out so there's not any regrets i mean i wasn't out there getting drunk every weekend like the popular kids were but i don't know man i was just hanging out i didn't do anything spectacular during high school so hmm. how, how about you geek say Oh me? Uh, I had a I had a oh, great time in high school. Honestly, yeah. like I had a good old good time. Um, I did a lot of stupid shit. Uh, I played a lot of World of Warcraft. Played a lot of Guitar Hero. Um, we did a lot of perfectly legal activities. It's so funny. My so one of my coworkers and I were having this talk yesterday about shit we did in high school that nowadays would not fly and you would absolutely go to jail for and like so i went to i went to high school out in the country and so we did a lot of crazy shit like fucking cows hey, no not like that more like <laughs> hey they're doing construction over here and maybe they left the keys into the bobcat and we just took the bobcat for the weekend Whoa, stuff like really? that yeah, a thousand percent. Like we did crazy wow. shit in high school. And we were like we were all into the jackass stuff. So like yeah. there was one summer we we in my so I had a friend, his parents, they both worked during the day and it was during the summer and no one was there. And we dug like a full on, like probably 50 60 square foot pit in his backyard and covered it with wood and dirt so his parents didn't know about it and we slept out there and we like they found out about it because we brought a string of electricity like a cable from his house out there and tried to hook up a playstation up. yeah so... no we absolutely did that and like we we did a lot of crazy crazy shit in high school and it's like Things like that now, if you're a high school kid now and you steal a bobcat, you're probably going to get a lot more trouble than we did. So 
Like I had a blast. The only regret I have is that I didn't stream World of Warcraft back when I played it. <laughs> like, because then I'd be Kerparian. Because that was like the same time that he started. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, um, Geek Say, what about yeah, you? High school life for me in Canada, eh? Um, <laughs> hey. So I, I, I definitely. All I did was I smoked cigarettes a lot and mm. I smoked a lot of pot. So I regret doing that stuff so much, so much. Nowadays, if you guys know me, I don't do any, I don't smoke, nor do I smoke the devil's elbow. Um, but back then, you know, you just, you did, I, I, I worked a lot too. Like I did work, I always had a job. Same. But like, I, like at school, I didn't care. I always showed up high. Um, you know, I played uh, goalie for soccer because that's what I always did growing up. I, I played soccer as goalie, but I only did it for like first two years. And then I thought like, it's, I'm, I'm too, like, that's not my crowd. Like the jocks, quote unquote jocks, right? And I, my big regret, guys, is I didn't do more stuff in high school. Like I just, okay. I just, all I did was smoke dope. And then I went partied on the weekends with my friends that were stoners or, or and then we'd try to get alcohol and stuff. And I really regret actually that time in my life because I don't remember a lot of it because I was always high and reasonable, reasonable, yeah, you know, and I, I really just, I, I really regret the things I did in high school because I really do wish I, I tried harder at school. Um, I really wish I did play an instrument. I wish I did go into band. I wish I did play an instrument there. I wish I did go into, um, more sports to be honest um but because I, I love sports but i just you know i was too cool back then say you know what i mean yeah. it wasn't my crowd and i yeah i just regret like high. yeah <laughs> i i just regret like always skipping classes for not no reason i really wish i did try harder in school i think that's a big thing and thinking it was like the end all be all high school like oh what does this person think you know what i mean like high school means shit High school means shit, you know, but I totally understand where people come from now when they're worried yeah. about their popular stance and stuff. And I, I, what blows my mind is imagine we had cell phones like they do now, like what yeah. high school would be like with videos and like all that stuff, stupid shit you did. Now it's on camera and like, I'm Man. glad it's not. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I can't imagine what it's like to go to high school now and be, you know, semi-unpopular. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it must be hell. But the big thing is, I just want to let everyone know that it means nothing later on in yep. life. It means absolutely nothing. Just get those grades and then Seriously. laugh later. Just laugh later. Get the good grades and then laugh later. It's so hard for kids, man, because you don't have any context and you're going through hormones and yeah. you're you're doing all this shit and fucking kids are dicks man kids are the biggest assholes in the fucking world like especially like you go into middle school and it is like a hormonal like battle royale like but with like backpacks and shit and <sighs> it's just insanity and i don't know how many little kids are listening to this show i would assume None. hopefully none yeah. but <laughs> this is not an appropriate podcast <laughs> but if you anyone under the age of 18 but if you are just remember man this shit goes no better. don't just don't you were literally talking about fucking horses earlier we can't have them listen to the podcast i mean that's what happens on the internet we have a pencil advisory i had tupac albums when i was that age this shit happens i was <laughs> i was going to church and praying to jeebus do you think that the reason Fortnite's so big is because it's basically just middle school? <laughs> middle school battle royale? Yeah. I think I, so. I, I think a majority of the people who play Fortnite It's relatable. Well. Yeah. I love it. That makes a lot of sense. And they all dress up like, you could dress them up like dinosaurs, just like in middle school, so. I don't oh, that's think true. I can. Just like I, your job. I don't think I can. I, I don't think even now I have an idea of how popular it is. Like, if we went to high school, if we went to, into a high school, and just said the population, how many of you play Fortnite? I bet you it's like 65% of every high school yeah. plays it, you know? Probably. It's I don't, crazy. I would, I would not, I still just think that like video games have some, often have a like stigmas to them. So I don't think it would be that high. But if you had like 50%, I wouldn't be surprised. 
in my department at work, 100% of the people I work with that have kids, uh, they all play Fortnite. Really? <laughs> yep. I I, uh, I listen to Adam Carolla's podcast, and he, he has like an 11 year old, and he's always talking about it. that's like his he has two 11 year olds, but like they're twins. But the boy, that's like all he wants to do is play Fortnite. The girl doesn't give a fuck, but like the the boy does, and he's like Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite. <laughs> no, I like it. I was waiting okay. for it. I was just wanting to Okay, scare. why are we broke this week, Rod? Let's let's talk about Rod. why we're broke. So you need we to are, tell me about this thing. I saw it. We are broke this week because I I bought a standard bowling ball mortar with carriage. It's guys, you will never believe how inexpensive this is. It's only sixteen hundred dollars and nine sixteen hundred ninety five dollars. That's a deal. all. And man, if you want to wreck shit in your neighborhood and shoot off bowling ball mortars, I think this is this is for you. This okay. is the way to do it. There's a couple questions here. One, bowling balls are fucking expensive. So like, you're paying sixteen hundred dollars for this mortar. Seven, let's just say seventeen hundred dollars. We're gonna round up, motherfuckers. Seventeen hundred dollars for a mortar, and then you're like a bowling ball is like a hundred bucks plus. So it's like. To shoot this thing off and figure out how to use it, I'm assuming that you're never going to find the bowling ball after you shoot it like through your neighbor's front window. So <laughs> you're saying every time you fire this motherfucker, it's like a hundred bucks plus whatever fuel or whatever. I'm and guessing. Like, what's, it's, what is? How does it do it? Is it like black powder? Yeah, it's black powder. I, it's yeah, for sure it is. Yeah, Here's so the thing though. You're talking about and... high school. Didn't you guys ever steal like bowling shoes? You just steal the bowling balls. Oh yeah, now. you just leave with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you steal the bowling balls. That's all it is. You say, "Oh, this is mine." <laughs> yeah, dude, I I was raised with Catholic parents and a, a I was former too. military police. I was anxious about everything. I never broke any fucking rules because oh, I had man. anxiety attacks. Sounds, when sounds I mean. boring. Sounds boring. Yeah. I mean, have you guys met me? I'm kind of boring. All, all right. right, new business opportunity though. I can make this thing for fucking like a hundred bucks. No, you can't. You can yeah, not make easy. that for a hundred dollars, dude. We made shit like this in high school. Potato I know how gun. to weld. I know how to I, okay. weld. No, nope. all it no. is, it's literally, it's a fucking tube welded to a fucking four square fucking bars. Geek say no one who has ever had that beard has been unable to weld. It is a requirement when growing that beard that you know how to weld. We made not... mortars. We made actual mortars like this in high school. Like so, it's not that hard. That's you have to crazy. realize when when Saucy was in high school in the in like in the country, there were like seven people in the state of Colorado at that point in time. <laughs> And so <laughs> we're talking about like 1712 when I was growing yeah, up, basically. No, but dude, in the last 20 years, Colorado, it's been like 10 years since you were in high school, but like the last even 10 years, a lot has changed in the state. But yeah. So I'm, I'm just quickly watching a video. You have to yeah. do a shot glass, a shotgun uh, or a shot glass of black powder. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. Wow. It goes so far. Holy yeah, that's shit. No one should own this. I'm just gonna mm. also preface that. <laughs> Look at this. How Let's is this watch. Fucking rednecks. Hey, you know the oh, best part of it? The, I did the, not the think it went that far. Holy the rednecks, shit. The rednecks in this video painted it to look like the American flag. So <laughs> now Alex, that's worth another thousand dollars. All I can imagine is them going, America! America! Fuck yeah! America! Were you there the other day when that redneck dude popped in my stream and asked if I listened to the Beatles? No. He was like, he's like, cool. he's like, because I was listening to this, like, some, like, Empire of the Sun or something. He's like, hey, do you like the Beatles? I'm like, no, not really. He's like, when you call yourself oh, an yeah. American? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I was The there. Beatles are not American. And, like, yeah, I was there. He, in his yeah. mind, thought that they were from America. It was the best. Uh, it's okay, Saucy. There are a thousand states in this country. So you just good. wear their shirts, dude. <laughs> you just wear their shirts because you, you love the shirt. <laughs> yeah, I can't name one of their albums. Do any of them? Actually, I can't. Yeah, you can. You can Yellow, Yellow Submarine. Yellow Submarine. Everyone knows Yellow Submarine. The White Abbey Road. Album. Abbey, Abbey Road. Yeah. Abbey Road. And I don't. They're on my top three least How? Shut the front Anyways, door. Anyways, let's Beatles? go to the outro, guys. No, <laughs> we do not. Outro. We talk about this. Not American. This <laughs> not what? America. 
<laughs> I'm not a real American. I'm only made Okay, of now we have a problem America. because it's either called I did it all for the loonies or you're not an American. How can you not like the Beatles? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to call this. That's up to you, Rod. You got that on your shoulders. It's, it's, I did it all for the loonies is going to be what it is. You have to tell all. Rod how to spell loonies. He doesn't know what that is. L-O-O-N-I-E-S is how I'm spelling it. Nice. I don't know yeah, if that's right. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, guys, thank you all so much for putting up with our garbage bullshit for the last hour and a half. <laughs> this is a longer podcast here, eh? This was a longer no, We run. had a lot to cover. It was great. I, yeah. Saucy, I mean, he waited to the very end to tell everyone to commit felonies, but uh, I do approve of the felonies he told us to commit this week. So. I was, I'm trying, like, I'm trying to get better at not every episode telling people to commit random acts of felon activities, <laughs> like stealing uh, uh, hey, giant pieces of construction. So equipment. I give, I give my life experiences so that you don't have to repeat the same. Very fun, very illegal mistakes that I have in the past. So I'm really, this is my, this is like, uh, um, what is that called? Like when you have to, time? no, when you have to like do something because you like, uh, broke a law or something like public your, service, your or, community or, service. Yeah. yeah this is like service. my community services, this podcast. So <laughs> it's great. But if you want to follow all of our places of community service, just check us out on Twitter. We're Geek Aid Podcast on there. Um, we're on the YouTube. Just search for Geek Aid Podcast. We're on a bunch of new. Pl- so we had this actually. Uh, someone messaged me yesterday or the day before asking like when we're going to be on their favorite podcast platform of choice because they don't like iTunes. And I was like, no, we're we're every- like we're on Google Podcasts, we're on Spotify, we're on iTunes, we're on Podbean. What's that one you just said, Stitcher? Stitcher. We just, we're I just all, added we're all over. Stitcher. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're, if, we're like on bathroom stalls. Just look for us. Geek Aid Podcast. It, if there's somewhere you guys want us to be that we're not, just shoot us a message because I, I, I put us everywhere that I know we could be. So I, SoundCloud? Are we on SoundCloud? No, I don't know. I didn't know I could be put us on SoundCloud. I don't are know we on craft dinner work. boxes? Yeah. We are. We are. Sweet. Actually, we're on the adult craft uh dinner boxes nice <laughs> well since i know i could just see i see rod just like itching he's like he's like vibrating just like with excitement just shaking rod go ahead where can people find you <laughs> I'm, I'm vibrating by petting a baby puppy but no i am on twitter at rod underscore johnston and i am on twitch at rod underscore johnston so what about you geeks a i'm on uh twitch twitch.tv slash geeks a I'm also on uh, Instagram and YouTube under Geeksay. And also, guys, you can catch me on the Twitter sphere. And I'm Geeksay, but with an extra H. So G E E K S E H H. Is that like extra bit of classy? That extra well, H. A little sass there. Whew. And I'm just Saucy Mailman. You can find me all over the internet places. Just look for Saucy Mailman, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, wherever. I'm probably there. Um, any last words, guys, you have before we need to run away? I, I saw some sad news, and maybe we talk about this next week. No, yeah, we're not ending with sad news. Telltale Games is like laying off most of their employees. Mm. Kind of sad. So. It happens. Yeah. All right. Well, I will be playing. Uh, <laughs> that was the most evil thing uh, ever. So whatever. <laughs> hey, I've never said I'm not chaotic evil. So. Oh, that's funny. Thank I, I believe you actually said that exact thing last week that you were no. not chaotic evil. Impossible. Well, guys, have a good week. We'll see you next time. Uh, I'll see you on Tuesday. So until then, do whatever it is you do, even if it's getting laid off. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, that's so evil. <laughs> <laughs>